over almost a decade since 2014 to 2023, before the March to May 2023 long rains, Kenya experienced the longest, toughest, and the worst drought ever to heat us. With over 9 million Kenyans from arid and semi-arid lands being affected. Sometimes I slept on an empty stomach. We lost our wildlife. At least 1,108 mortalities have been reported across various species, but notably affecting mostly the elephants. Thousands of Kenyan livestock were also lost. When you address the water, you are missing another component. You are missing pasture. You are missing veterinary services. Because of competition for pasture, we've seen that uh, there is an increase in uh, conflicts among pastures themselves, competing for the scarce resources, pasture and water. But also... On November 2022, His Excellency President William Samoei Ruto established the National Steering Committee on Drought Response, which comprises of 15 members and is chaired by Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegwa. The National Steering Committee on Drought Response is to mitigate the impact of the drought situation not only on emergencies but on long-term basis. This is what has been done to date. The National Steering Committee on Drought Response has managed to raise over 1 billion shillings towards mitigation and improving the drought situation. 1.4 million Kenyans provided with water and sanitation services, 850,000 Kenyan families reached with livelihood assistance, both moderately to severely malnourished children together with lactating women receiving nutrition services, vital health care and cash assistance. The long rains have gradually improved local livelihoods, though the crisis isn't over as much more is needed. Despite this pronounced recovery across the arid and semi-arid lands, food security is yet to record satisfactory improvement, with other challenges like flash flooding, livestock diseases, and high food prices. The National Steering Committee on Drought Response is closely monitoring the situation and the performance of the long race to ascertain food security. We want to, we want to make sure that we are able to get them water, and the other thing that we are going to do is to start planting trees. Part of that is coming up with long-term impactful solutions and currently in partnership with the KDF, the National Steering Committee on Drought Response will be working with communities on rehabilitating boreholes in 32 counties, water catchment, restocking small stocks and providing farm inputs. Now we received a request from uh, the National Steering Committee through the Secretary, um, requesting for technical partnership uh, with us. Uh, we came up with a, a work plan and we submitted the work plan uh, on how to rehabilitate these uh, 340 boreholes across uh, 32 counties within nine regions in Kenya. Wakenya Tulindane is an initiative by the National Steering Committee on Drought Response to mitigate and appeal for fans to help recover and feed Kenyans in arid and semi-arid lands affected by drought. You too can help by donating as little or as much as you can to M-Pesa pay bill number 880-990 or dial star 126 hash to donate bonga points. Wakenya Tulindane, Tulinde Usoni Wetu.